these guys, you said, the, you know, it's the first round. It's the, it's the fill-out period of time, you know. Nobody want to make a mistake right now. Oh, my God. Oh, big left by Brown. A lot more and score a lot more points. But due to due to Brown credibility, he got up out of that corner. I like I like how he moves swiftly to this position. Oh! Down goes oh Brown! Oh, my God. Ooh. to the body like that. If Oh, big right oh, by Pascal. Oh, got caught again. You got to love throwing a punch. You got to love this sport, man, no matter what. No matter you how you <laughs> You look at Marcus Brown, he's, up, he's upset that this happened. He's like, wow. And, and, you know, Pascal was waiting for that. Uh, man, we talk, you just talk about keeping Pascal hands up. I guess it's go both ways. Yeah. I was just about to, oh, my. Oh. Oh, man, it looked like it's about to be over here. Man. Myra scorecard. Hey, whoa, whoa. Oh, good score. Somebody got hit with a head there. Brown is cut. Stop, break, break. Man, he's watching. They, they, they got, they, they, they got what they looking for here. Oh yeah. Uh, Pascal was on a mission. We're gonna see a replay right now. Both fighters coming in. Proper clash of heads. Yeah, you know it really. Pascal hit him right on the head. Now, it wouldn't affect Pascal that much because he got hit in the hardest part. Marcus Brown got hit in the soft part right on the over the eye. We go to the judges' scorecards for a technical decision. Well, fans, after these eight rounds, all three judges are in agreement, unanimously scoring the bout 75 to 74. All three in favor of the winner and the new interim WBA light heavyweight champion, Jean Pascal. So Jean Pascal is the winner. They went to the scorecards, 75-74 on all three. The winner by technical decision and the new champ here with the new champ congratulations on on a great win i know though that you did not want to win it this way take us through what happened there in that accidental headbutt hey boxing is boxing you know so we clash heads but at the end of the day i was winning the round uh i dropped him twice three times and i think even though it was a close fight i was winning the fight so that's why the judges give me the fight you wanted to check him. You said he was cocky, he was young. Uh, you were able to do that with those knockdowns here tonight. Let's start with the first one in the fourth round and also again in the seventh round. I saw your daughter, Angel. She was chanting your name. Did you hear her? Because right after she started doing that, you got those two knockdowns. Yeah, definitely. My, my daughter was ringside and that was a lot of motivation for me. She was printing my name all night long. Angel, I love you. What is next for you? You know, would you like this fight, this rematch with him to, to, to end it in a, in a way that wasn't by accidental headbutt? First of all, I want to thank Fox to give me that chance to showcase my talent in, in front of America. You know, I, now I'm going to back home, talk to Holly man, to see, see what's going on. But one thing that I'm very happy about it, it's like we have the best rapper in the game, Drake. We are NBA champion, and now I'm beginning the bell back in Canada, baby. All right, go enjoy it. Thank you so much. And, and also, 50, I told you, I'm a man of my word. I got your money on Monday. I got the bells now. Don't worry about it. Thank you for watching. Well, if you enjoyed that clip, make sure you click uh, somewhere around here and subscribe from Fight Highlights to exclusive interviews. We have got everything you need as a boxing fan right here on PBC on Fox.